Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What is up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. We are finally back after three long weeks of just hecticness. We ended up getting married. We ended up getting a new job. We ended up moving to a new city. And now we're just now getting moved in. And things are starting to settle down. We got one more furniture haul and then we will be good to go. So finally I get to sit down, spend some time with y'all and make a fish video. And I could not be more excited. Today we are learning about a very pretty wrasse. This is all about the Scots Fairy Wrasse. We're going to jump right into it. Prices on them, you'll spend about $100 for the lowest, for the smallest little one. They are very expensive. And when you want better colors on them, you can get up in the $200 range. They are a very expensive fish. Tank size, you'll tend to see them in about a 75 gallon by the end of their growth. You can have them in a smaller tank when they're tiny, but eventually they do get a little big. Care level, they are super easy to take care of. It's a really good rest to have. Temper, they are very peaceful. You won't have any problems with them going after other fish. Reef safe, I would say yes, they look beautiful in a reef tank. That's where they're normally from, so they'll be very happy in a reef tank. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. EKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. All that is basic. Max size, they can get up to 6 inches. So once you finally get that max size, they're pretty large. So you definitely want to make sure he has enough room to swim around. Diet, they are a carnivore. Mysis and brine shrimp, little frozen cubes are some of their favorite things. That's why I tend to feed them. Blood worms are another good one to get. And also you can even try flake and pellet food. But a lot of times whenever you're first trying to get them to eat, that frozen cubes really do the trick. Origin, the cool thing about these guys is depending on where they come from, there's some that come from Australia, some that come from Fiji, and some from Indonesia. They're all in this little area, but depending on where they are depends on what kind of color they're actually from what kind of color they actually are so the one you're seeing very dark very black with a lot of red coloration in them that is the fiji scots fairy wrasse so very pretty and there's other ones with some green coloration from australia that are even prettier you'll have to look them up they are awesome but it's really cool depending on where they come from depends on what color they are compatibility just ask Normally we do put these with other wrasse. It just depends on the tank size. You don't want to have too small of a tank and too many wrasse in there. Because a lot of times wrasse will fight their own species. So you definitely need to make sure and be careful about that. But if you got like a 75 gallon, you could definitely have a couple of wrasse running in there. They normally won't mess with each other. The males, if you're looking to see if it's a male or female, if you had to put two beside each other, the males are going to be a lot more brighter and a lot more vibrant on their colors. Make sure you do have glass lids. These are a wrasse, so of course they do tend to jump if they're scared or getting used to a new tank. It definitely happens, so make sure you have your glass lids on there. Every little hole is matched up so you can make sure they do not jump out. Make sure you have plenty of live rock in there. They do tend to be shy at the beginning. They take time to get used to the tank, so don't go in there messing up the rock structure, looking for them. Just give them time. They'll get accustomed over time. So. Plenty of little caves and stuff for him to hide down in and feel comfortable. Rats are known for eating parasites off of fish. It's a great thing to have in your tank, especially cleaner rats are some of the best ones to get. They are known for eating parasites off fish, but all rats actually do it. But depending on how often they do it is completely random. They also are really good about eating parasites and worms off of corals. So if you got problems with your coral staying shrunk up, they might have some little pests on them. And these rats will go down there and start checking around the rocks and start to eat these things. And they'll make your corals come back out really pretty. They're also a great scavenger for bristle worms. I know a lot of people end up having that problem in the beginning. So this is another great one to get to eat those. A lot of times people go towards the six line. This is the same deal. They are awesome at killing those parasites out of your tank. Their personality reminds me of a carpenter's wrasse if you're trying to get an idea of what they're going to act like. They do get much bigger, but they are kind of a little timid, a little shy at the beginning. This one you see in the video actually ended up coming out all the time. He was super happy, super accustomed to the tank very soon too. So sometimes you get lucky, but 
like I said, a little bit shy, can tend to hide. <laughs> but anyways, so um, they're going to act a lot like a carpenter's grass, a little shy at the beginning, but eventually they come out and show those vibrant colors a lot. But other than that, I think that pretty much hits on everything. I'd say the main thing is your glass lid. Make sure that's on whenever you put him in there. He is a little bit pricey, but you definitely pay for the colors on him. He is super pretty. Hope you all have a good day. I'm glad to be back. I'm ready to start pumping out more videos for y'all. You're going to start seeing a bunch of vlogs of the wedding and the new place we're in and just a lot of good stuff coming. I'm so glad y'all are here. Send me some comments down below. I love reading them. love getting back to y'all. And I will see y'all later. Rock is out.